Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Glad you, you found us. And um, thank you to uh, all of my regular supporters. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. You can hit the bell button. That tells you then whenever I post new videos, you'll get notifications of that and all that good stuff. Um, been garage sailing a lot the last couple days. And so I've got a lot of stuff. So I am Without further ado, we're just going to hop right into this because I then have to go and meet um, Crazy for Retro. I'm meeting Peggy and Norm today as well. You won't see this probably till next week when I get the video posted publicly. So anyway, so I'm kind of in a time crunch, but I thought let me take advantage of this little time that I have to film a quick video. Um, hopefully it won't be too long. So garage sales. One of the things I found was this awesome joe um carpenter i was thinking mcdonald that's our state rep back where we used to live anyway i was joe carpenter and uh just a great little card tray you know for serving your drinks on when you're having card parties um it's a little dusty paid three dollars for this um again this is the kind of stuff i look for for the pink elephant because barwell does well down sells well down there so uh, i'll probably ask around 15 dollars for it but I was excited to find that. It's in great shape, just very little wear. Um, and at the same sale, I found this glass oil and vinegar set. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It is hand blown and it's ground on the bottom. You can find these. Um, it's not like super rare, although they're not on. They're not common. Um, I paid two dollars and fifty cents for it just because I thought it was so cool. It would look great, you know, even if you just put colored water and used it as decoration. It's just got a great look to it. So pick that up and let's see those were the two things from that garage sale from another garage sale i got plastic baggies yay always looking for supplies for selling stuff so little plastic baggies are great for the pink elephant also found these what i think are awesome picture holders they called them um cake plate you know or plate holders but they're a little wider. So they, you could use them for either one, but I love the ornate brass stuff. I'm either gonna use them for displaying down the pink elephant or keep them and use them to display some of this crazy artwork I have around here. So that's cool. And then, um, so that was kind of what I found at that sale. I did find, oh, how could I forget? The most fabulous find. It's cause I'm trying to rush through things. At that same sale, I just bought those that I bought this. Whoop! This is a mid 1800s, probably 18, circa 1850 barometer and thermometer. It's English. I believe it's an English oak on here as well, as far as the wood tones go. Um, and this is a dual day barometer, so you could, you know, mark where it was yesterday and then adjust it for today. It would have originally had knobs here. They're missing, you know, so that you could adjust the uh, registers upside down. It does have the thermometer. The barometer does not work. She said that she moved it one time and the mercury that was in there went all funky. So it probably could be repaired. It, it, it does need a little work. Like the thermometer, the reason it's taped on is it came unglued from the base. And there's been some repair work on the back as well. Um, but again, that's okay. There is some writing. I haven't tried to decipher it on the back. There are numerous people that manufactured these um, back in the day, back in England. Uh, this Normally there's a name up on top. This one doesn't have a name. So I really think the name was specific to a specific, they would engrave it for a specific business or organization. Most people think that that's who made it, but I don't think that's the case in my opinion. But anyway, so I paid ten dollars for that ten right now there's one on ebay listed exact same style as this one same manufacturer probably listed for 399 dollars plus 75 dollars shipping so by the time they're done they're going to be paying over 500 dollars for one of those pretty cool that was the great find of the day so today i went out garage sailing and two estate sales there's one just a few blocks from my house here which was exciting so i went over there and there's i don't know what's going on but today there's hardly anybody at the the state sales in fact i was talking to the people running the local one and they were all worried because there's like nobody showing up 
there were only six pre numbers given out. So it was kind of nice. It was nice and quiet, and I could take my time and not get crowded and pushed out of the way and all that good stuff. So, but as just, a lot of you know, I'm always looking for shipping supplies because they're so expensive. Guess what? This, these are packing peanuts. This is one bag. I got four, two full large boxes and two bags. This is the least full bag for $5. So that was an incredible find. So I always pick that up when I find them because they last for a long time. Um, and then the, oh, let's see, I'm trying to keep it a little straight here as far as what I found where. The other thing I found, same sale, with these prints. These are child prints. Um, these actually came out of a these were reprints, talks about on the back. These are Cornelius Zwan prints. He did a number of them. And that's printing on the back. All Mead Johnson products are advertised only to the medical profession. Um, but uh, this is the first reproduction of these particular paintings. And there's three of them. The picture book, Baby's Breakfast, and Intense Interest. So... These are all ones that I, uh, you know, picked up, uh, paid $2 for all three of them. They were in this section that was unmarked and it was very confusing, the signs they had. Um, but I, so I just took them up there and asked them how much. They said two bucks. I said, I'll take them. And then also found this print for $2. Again, a great cruel work piece. This one actually on the back, um, says July 3rd, 1979, happy birthday, mom. And it's it actually lists who, who did it, which is interesting. A Paget Creation BP. So they put their initials on here. I haven't done any research. I haven't researched anything because I just got home. I grabbed a bite of lunch and now I'm trying to finish this before I have to go and I'm checking the clock, sorry. <laughs> but what a, isn't that a great print? Just the colors, beautiful. No fading. I mean, it's like perfect condition. The frame's got a couple of dings on it, but the print is just awesome. So that's going to go up in the peak elephant. I, so I think, just because of the size, it's harder for me to ship. All right. And then I, oh, how could I forget? I might have to break this into two different videos because I have way too much stuff for one. <laughs> so anyway, let's just get on to... The next item so anyway we'll see if you know i'd like to keep my videos around 20 minutes at the most so anyway so another thing i found and i just found one of these a couple weeks ago is one of these pyrex glass percolators this is the six cup i found the eight cup last time this one's a six cup and it is wonderful it is clean it looks like it's never been used almost and then what's interesting this is the six cup. Yes, it's a six cup. Um, and then this also has the paperwork with it. Six cup percolator, $4.95 plus local tax. So these were $5 new. Guess what I paid for? $5. So um, these sell really well, both at the Pink Elephant and online. I'm going to list that or take that down to the Pink Elephant. Um, they said they sell them very quickly down there. And I didn't even... I there's a shoebox full of stuff and I kind of looked through it and saw a couple things that I really liked and this I didn't even see in there I didn't open the box because I just made a pile of stuff and because a lot of things weren't priced it seemed like everything I wanted was interested in wasn't priced so I kept having to ask all the time so I just started making a pile and, and then they started marketing for me and then I made a decision but this was in this box was Ronson. You guys know it. Ronson, they made li lighters. So it's this lighter, but the thing about this lighter is it's also the cigarette carrier. So you could carry your cigarettes and have the lighter at the same time. And the fact it's still in the original case is pretty cool. Um, I haven't looked it up to see what it's worth or anything, but um, anyway, so that I can get my $10 back easily with that. Um, there's a pure oil roadmap. I don't know where this is from. It's of Minnesota. Just trying to see if real quick I could find a date. Lists all the major towns. 
Usually there's a copyright date somewhere. Oh, here it is. Copyright. No, oh, no date. Just copyright Ram McNally. So, nice vintage Minnesota map. I'll have to look closer to see if I can find a date on it. But this is, you know, oil memorabilia. The pure oil. So, I'll look it up and see what I can find. There is some writing on it. Somebody put their name on it. Use, maps used to be very valuable and you wanted to hang on to them. Um, one of the reasons I picked this up was because of this little box. It says Hitchcock on it, or Hickok rather. And these are a pair of suspenders, still original in the box. Uh, it's got Christmas logos on it, so obviously it was a Christmas present. They just stuck the labels on the box. So I don't know if it was a stocking stuffer or what. But I thought it was kind of cool. In fact, it's still in there and I love Vintage menswear and jewelry. So, of course, I was going to pick that up. This was one of the reasons I picked up the box that got me all intrigued, and I haven't tried to reassemble it yet. But, and that is this vintage frame, which says Made in Germany. And it's just a little wood frame. On the back, it says Germany. But the print that is in it with the glass... It's one of these really old prints, but isn't that just darling little guy sitting there on his box, getting his picture taken with a slight smirk on his face. Um, Robinson, New York, it says. Now, this lady that was having the sale, she bought a lot of stuff at garage sales and stuff because there were still a lot of prices on <laughs> a lot of the stuff at her house, you know, prices from garage sales or thrift stores or whatever. So she... Uh, probably pick this up at one of those but I just thought it was you know put it all together it's a little crooked but yeah that I thought was really cool oh I should take this back this is the they are trying to sell this camera the Canon AE-1 so I actually I'm going to look that up because they were asking $225 for the camera sometimes those cameras can be worth a lot of money and I know she said they were the family said, get rid of everything. They don't want to have to deal with anything. So they're going to wheel and deal tomorrow, especially. So another thing that was in there was this little plastic picture that you hang on the wall. And I can't think of who these two are off the top of my head from Greek mythology, but um, we'll look it up. Oh, this piece had me intrigued. It's just a little, um, almost like a coin purse. And it is marked inside, um, but it's really hard to read. Oh, oh, <gasps> I had no idea. All right, I got to decipher this because, see these, these two edge pieces? It's stamped 14 karat gold. For, both of them are stamped 14 karat gold. Wow, I had no idea. I just knew it looked really special. I believe this is silk. And if that's 14 karat gold, 99% sure that is silk. Now, what is that? Is anybody have any ideas? Just this little pocket. And it's got the name, and I gotta decipher that name. Because that, that's gonna have another factor on that. Wow. Ooh, exciting. Um, all right, now to some other stuff. I knew it was a good box. Um, this says wherever, wherever hairline led. So this would have little plastic holder for your mechanical pencil lead. Um, but I just liked it. It's a nice octagonal shape. Oh, what was this? Oh, money clip knife. I love money clips. Oh, I didn't even know that's what that was. There you go. And it was used. It's got some nice wear marks on it. But that's handy to have a little knife to cut open things. It's two knives, one on each side. Although this is more like a finger cleaner than a knife. But yeah, there's no name on it, it's, but it's, the fact it's still in the original box is really cool. Made in Japan. It says on the bottom of the box. Cool. Oh, oh. See, I haven't even looked at this. Oh, this is a Hickok 2. This is the little guy goes on the lid and it's Hickok the same 
brand has the suspenders. It says Hickok in the middle. So there probably was something in here. And this was the packaging. Huh, interesting. I have to do a little more research. Oh, there's a big brush in there too. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a talcum powder tube. Woo! Shouldn't open that. Um, oh, the Emporium. There's a ticket for the Emporium. I have no... Does this have a... No, it has no... This card will allow the bearer to park at any time on any one of the Emporium's three parking lots for one entire day without charge. Um, look at the back. The map is like hand-drawn. And the words hand-drawn and put in there. That is really cool. Awesome. Um... Yeah, this box is... Oh! Look at this. Lambert Brothers Jewelers. This is a set of... Look at it right. Yep. It's a set of... Where's Mark? Marked 14 something. And this is this jeweler is from New York. These are um, buttons. So I don't know if that means 14 karat gold or what, but I don't think so because it's no, well, unless the stem is gold in the reason I'm oh, sorry I shouldn't be thinking I should be showing you guys I'm just pondering what they are but you can see the the you know this is mother of pearl and underneath that it's kind of a rose colored gold so I don't know if that's real gold or if it's gold plated or if it's <gasps> and they extend <gasps> look at that so you slip it in and then it goes like that so it won't slip out these are nice. I'm going to have to look those up. Didn't even know those were in there either. Wow, did I score? Oh, all right. This is in there. And the thing it is, once I take it out, I'm not going to be able to get it back in. It's just a little brush in the case. And it's really hard to get the brush back in the lid. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. But, no, but I'll just leave that. Um, and this was the other main reason I picked it up. Oh, I wonder. This um, vintage bow tie. Now this is just the kind you clip on. Um, but then it also has in there is the tieable kind of bow tie, so you can tie your own. In fact, both of them are in there. Neither one has a mark or label or name on them. They sometimes do, but. Both black tie, so you know they would have been for fancy occasions. Oh, too exciting. Okay, so that's our fun little box, which you guys got to discover gold with me. Too exciting. I'm going to put that aside. The other thing I found was this little kitty. Um, I've sold these before, not in this iridescent color, iridescent blue, but it's marked M on the back. And I'm trying to think, is it M Mosimer, M Mossimer, something like that, is the manufacturer. can't think right off the top of my head. Um, but I got him for a dollar. They had this whole area that was filled with nothing but, you know, it was just a dollar of figurines and little teacups and whatever. So I went through all of that. And we're right about 10, 20 minutes. So I am actually going to stop the video there because the next load that I have is going to take even longer. So we'll do, that'll be part two garage sale. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining me on this fun adventure we have, and we will catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.